so today we are going to talk about one important topic uh, that is rheumatic heart disease or rheumatic fever okay so we missed an important topic so i think we will discuss today about that what is that a rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease okay so mostly this is seen in uh, two persons one is children okay in or childhood in or adult okay this disease is mostly seen in uh, children and adult and uh, the cause is unknown unknown but some studies shows that there is a infection called streptococci okay uh, hemolytic streptococci streptococci this is an infection which uh, attacks on the tonsils or pharynx okay later on it will attack on the uh, it may be attack on the joints so we will call as arthritis okay if we attack on the uh, heart or cardia we will call carditis if it take attack on nervous system we will have another term okay so this is the uh, one of studies shows but mostly the k the, the reason is unknown so why the infection happened how the infection happened okay so this is going on these are the two studies showing that about the infection okay so during childhood we know that the immunity is less okay immunity is decrease so what will happen the children child may be attacked by the infection which is uh which will go to the cardiac region and the 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 heart may be affected same some of the females are more attacked by the disease comparatively male okay uh, are rheumatic heart disease rhd okay so this is the thing we have thing so what will happen the we have the pericardium myocardium endocardium so these are the three layers of the heart each have one function and we know that there is a fluid in the in between pericardium myocardium endocardium okay so what will happen through the tonsils through the pharynx the infection reach to this place and it will damage starting the fluid first it will affect the fluid okay so what will happen the fluid will attached with the bacteria and it start damaging the myocardium or endocardium muscles okay and the muscles start become necrosis start become dead so what will happen if the muscle become dead what will happen the contraction and relaxation of heart the function of the heart is disturbed okay after that it may be reach to the valves of the heart okay or blood vessels or nerves of the heart so anywhere 
so it first it reach through the fluid present in the uh, layers of the heart okay so this is the important sign we have to remember okay uh, about the thing necrosis will start okay gradually the disease increases and the contraction relaxation uh, will definitely affected and heart rhythm is defected okay blood circulation decrease bp decrease okay patient have anemia patient have weakness what are the symptoms okay this is very uh, chronic disease and also fatal disease if not treated okay so what will happen we have weakness tiredness okay both legs and uh, back extremities all you have pain and have pain in pericardial region chest region or peri cardial means below the cardiac region we have pericardial region and having a uh, pain of pericardial fever okay and have what will happen and the patient have swelling if also the knees also affected there is a swollen knees shoulder elbow and along with pain along with redness okay so the if you check the pulse pulse is high okay and at some times body temperature also arise more than 103 or 104 temperature you can see <laughs> Okay. So these are the things you have to uh, remember that the pericardial pain, fever, tiredness, and difficulty in uh, difficulty in breathing, and you have to check the auscultate the heart also. You can see the murmuring sound also sometimes. Okay. So these are the things we have to remember, and. What are the criteria diagnosis? Okay. First is ask about the history of tonsillitis. Ask the history of any uh, sign of carditis or inflammation of joints. Okay. These are the things you have to ask pain in pericardial region. Okay. So, we need to examine the blood values, ESR, uh, erythro sedimentation ratio is very high and WBC counts are also very high. Okay, ECG shows PR interval, the PR interval, okay, P U R S. -S. The wave is, you can see the interval, gap, okay. <laughs> So these are the things we have to remember and hemoglobin also decrease sometimes. You need to do 2ET echo, recognize or ECG. Okay, after that, uh, the patient or if the damage is of heart muscles, so you need drop eye. This will give you the idea that how much, what are the uh, things are involved and how to uh, treat the patient further. Okay, so you have the treatment option. First is you need to complete blood rest. This thing you need sometimes need supervision also. Okay, so here you have to give the remedies S five A three B. Start with D five. Okay, and uh, you have S10, L1WE also. Okay, C5, VEN1G, okay, all this and D5 only. Okay, so some you need uh, compression of F2, A3, WE. Okay, sometimes need hot compression. Warm compression, not hot, warm. Or uh, application of A3 ointment or you have to make A3 uh, ointment to the heart region. 
okay uh, according to the symptomatics if the abdominal issues are there need to add s1 before food and s10 after food if the patient has uh, constipation add s last symptomatic treatment also you have to give okay to relieve the patient and fever you have to add okay f1 a3 y okay for fever okay all this you have to add constipation add s last okay uh, fever you have to add f1 a3 y if not controlling add f2 we cold compress on forehead top of the head okay so this treatment will uh, give gradually relief to the patient okay again uh, you have to confirm the diagnosis very very important okay gradually the condition of the patient will increase improve okay so uh, this is very uh, very toughest disease patient having number of numerical issues okay uh, very tired nurse even though uh, the allopathy are uh, conducting uh, treating the patients okay but uh, i saw the number of patient the patient have unable to do his work regular work regular activities they have sometimes sob cough weakness fever all these complications are there okay so you can try in electrohomeopathy if the patients are ready okay they want to take the treatment easily you can uh, start the treatment uh, gradually the patient will get the benefit also okay so these are the things we have to remember about uh, rheumatic heart disease how this occurs what are the symptoms what are the uh, symptoms we have what are the reason or uh, what are the tests we have to do and what treatment we have to do okay so this is all about rheumatic heart disease tomorrow or in next class we will discuss another topic okay any doubts kindly ask